Hey guys, Ryan King here, and I'm the keyboard instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. Today's YouTube lesson, we're going to take a look at the song Christ is Enough by Hillsong Worship. Specifically, we're going to look at the verse. Now, we're only going to look at the verse, so if you want to see the entire lesson, you need to click the link and head over to Worship Artistry, where you can sign up for an account for less than 10 bucks a month, and it's totally worth it. But just in case you want to check out a YouTube video, this is for you. All of the verses are identical with the exception of just the first verse is only going to use our shimmer pad and our acoustic piano. The next verse will use all four of our sounds. Both verses look like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Two, three, four and off. So not too difficult. The first half of the verse, you're just going to kind of diamond the chords, and then we basically have almost like a pre-chorus section uh, that uh, at the end of the verse, and that's where we start um, arpeggiating our chords back and forth with the top two notes down to the bottom note. So the first step, we're going to do G sharp, G sharp minor to E to B, F sharp over A sharp, same thing again, G sharp minor, E, B, F sharp over A sharp to D sharp minor, and this is where we have our walk up. We have E, F sharp, G sharp minor, D sharp minor, E, G sharp minor, F sharp, two, three, four, and off. All I'm doing there on that walk up is just alternating from the top two notes down to the bottom note. So it's one and two and three and four and, and changing accordingly where you're supposed to. Now, for the second verse, everything is identical, but we're going to add in all four of our sounds, so it gives it a lot of rhythm. And then when you get to the very end of this, you'll do the walk up, the E, F sharp, G sharp, D sharp minor. You're going to hold the E for a full bar and then go to G sharp minor and then F sharp. Whereas the first time was E to G sharp minor to F sharp, but this time it's one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. So again, just pay close attention to the endings of both those verses. The first verse, you're going to do E for two beats, G sharp minor for two beats, and then hold the F sharp. The second verse at the end, you're going to do the E for four beats, and then you'll do G sharp minor for two beats, F sharp for two beats before going on into the chorus. One more time with all the sounds, it sounds like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and off. So as you can see, you've got that quick little hold there on the E before going to the G sharp minor and the F sharp at the end of the second verse. The only other thing that you need to do is coming out of the verse, you need to open up your a filter on the shimmer pad so it gets, starts to get really bright. So that way when you move into the chorus, it's really bright. Now again, this is the verse. Make sure you take a look at your sheet music down below, work through the loop video a few times, and let's move on to the next part of the lesson.